I am Laura Dreaver and I am here at Miss To Do in Orkney. I was born and brought up in Kirkwall and continue to live and work in Miss To Do as a visual artist. I draw and paint the Orkney landscape, creating work on a variety of scales that evoke a sense of time, place and movement and that captures the ever-changing character of Orkney's unique environment. I observe, record and gain a sense of the landscape through walking. I gather memories of location, absorb elemental changes and minute detail. I'm responsive to subtle qualities of light, movement within the landscape, whether that be birds, weather or vegetation. I'm alert and sensitive to the lay of the land, the colours, textures and forms created and reworked by nature. I love Orkney. I love to walk in Orkney. I love the ever-changing weather in Orkney and I love the light. It is continually changing and moving and making places of interest even more fascinating to me. I've always been inspired by the Orkney landscape, drawing and painting my interpretation of each place. I was asked recently where my favourite place in Orkney is to walk. There are so many that it is hard to choose. What I would say is that my favourite time to walk is when there is a golden light reflecting on the fields or making the sea sparkle when the air smells of a loch side or there is a soft breeze, breeze that makes your lips taste of salt. The feeling I get when I visit a place for the first time and it makes me stop in my tracks and breathe a bit deeper or when I visit, revisit a place and it feels just as good as the first time I walked there. Ever since graduating some years ago now, I've worked steadily and committedly to maintaining my practice with regular exhibitions both with in and out with Orkney. I've always worked in my own in my own studio. Towards the end of 2019, I gave up my part-time employment to work full-time on my art practice. Since then, I've been working hard to develop a new collection of work. Over the last couple of years, I've begun to expand my practice into printmaking. Given its traditional nature, it seems to be a natural ally for my drawing and painting. I thought this would be a good way to expand my skills. Understanding a process or technique, the presses, the inks, the materials and their properties, and the right tools is fundamental to the development and growth of my experience. In recent years, I've developed a distinctive and particular link between drawing and painting within my work, and I believe that the focus and introduction of printmaking will inform and question both. It will stimulate new ways of working and challenge cunt thinking. It will open up possibilities about mark making and extend my experience of line and texture. I hope it will act as a springboard for my ideas, enable new approaches in response to landscape and make me confront my existing well-known practice. One notable development is that I've recently started to work in my sketchbook again, noting ideas, documenting processes and archiving skills. Taking time to revisit old sketchbooks has sparked new ideas, helped me to remember past projects and collaborations and highlighted my love for what I do. I think this is really important. Working on my own in my studio, somewhat isolated for many years, has ensured that I've become comfortable in my approach and ideas and processes. It's really good to challenge these and I'm really looking forward to seeing what happens.